Hello everybody, I'm here with a video related to particle kinetics and uh, our objective is to use impulse and momentum uh, approach to solve this problem. In fact, the statement of the problem asks us for the, uh, the net impulse exerted by the hockey stick on the puck. So here we have a, a hockey puck uh, whose mass is equal to 0.2 kilograms, uh, which is, uh, has an initial velocity of uh, 10 meters per second, as you could see, right? So, and it's going to hit, the, pot, hit the, the stick, or the stick is going to hit it. So our V1, if you put it in the vector form, is minus 10 I, right? And I think it's easier to solve this problem vectorially. And after the, uh, the stroke is happening by the, uh, the hockey stick, the velocity V2, velocity after the, uh, the impact, as you could see, is 20 uh, in this direction, 20 meters per second in this direction, 40 degrees, which vectorially, actually, you could write it as 20 cosine 40i, right? plus 20 sine 40 j, okay? So this is uh, the vector approach that we're going to use. Of course, you could break it into x and y direction if you want. Our objective, so these are all given as you could see in the picture, right? And our objective is to find uh, the net impulse exerted by the hockey, net impulse exerted by the hockey stick, by the stick, on the puck. So this is really a trivial problem. Uh, you know, the impulse and momentum um, states that the uh, change in linear momentum is equal to impulse. So mv2 minus mv1 is equal to impulse. And you guys know that impulse. So you could write this actually as m delta v if you want even change in velocity if you factor the m. And impulse is what? It's the integral of some of the forces that are acting. And our objective is to find this guy. We want the magnitude actually of, I forgot to say magnitude of the net impulse. We're going to get it actually as an x and y component, but we can find the y component. Uh, the, uh, I'm sorry, the magnitude in, in terms of x and y components, uh, but we can find the magnitude. So here we go. Um, so we have mass. If you factor mass out, that's 0.2 kilograms. V2, as you could see, is 20 cosine 40i plus 20 sine 40j minus V1, which is minus, minus a minus 10 I, be careful, the negative is from the, uh, the, the change, right? And the, the other negative is from the direction of this guy pointing this way. Equal, I'm running out of a space there. Equal to impulse, right? So if you calculate this impulse vectorially, you end up getting a 5.06 or two if you want to be a little bit more accurate i plus 2.57 on 2j so basically you have an impulse in the x direction and you have an impulse in the y direction and your impulse would be the, the magnitude would be so this is like a vector right but if you want the magnitude it would be square root of this plus the square root of the second, the x, the x component of the impulse, and then take the square root. So that becomes 5.68. Now what should be the unit? Um, the unit, uh, as you could see, both sides should have the unit, the same unit, uh, kilogram meters per second, like mass times velocity, or impulse is what? Force times time. So kilogram meters per second is also Newton second. So this is the magnitude. 
Okay, uh, thank you for watching and listening as always. And if you like the videos, please uh, subscribe to the channel. Thanks again.